Reefing effectively is an essential part of sailing, so I just wanted to go through the basics of how we reef the mainsail on our Cornish Shrimper 19. Now this is a gaff rig, so the mainsail has four corners. Each of those four corners needs to be controlled. The top two corners are controlled by the gaff and we don't really need to adjust those, but we can reduce overall sail area by bringing down the bottom two corners, and this is called slab reefing. Each reef is controlled by two reefing lines, one forward, one aft. The first aft reefing line is attached to the boom on the port side. It goes up through the first reefing cringle and then back down to a turning block on the back of the boom. The line is then fed forward to a cleat in the middle of the starboard side of the boom. The forward reefing line has a bobble in it and is passed through the forward reefing cringle. This line then goes down to the tack and again along the boom to the same cleat. The lines for the second reef are effectively the mirror image of the first on the port side of the boom. If we look at the fittings on the starboard side of the boom, you can see the first reefing line, which goes up behind the sail through the cringle, back down to this turning block here. This is the attachment point for the second reefing line, which is going up the sail and then back down the other side. Moving forward, this is the cheek block for the topping lift. You can see here I have the topping lift uh, effectively on a minimum setting. The job of the topping lift is to keep the boom up when you release the halyards and lower the sail, but I tend to keep mine on this minimum setting. It's got a few inches play in it and I don't really touch it when I'm raising or lowering the sails. Fold of this is the cheek block for securing the rear reefing line and the little cleat on top is for controlling the outhaul. So here you can see the forward reefing line going down the sail, through the tack, down the boom and through the centre of the cleat. It's secured with a bobble. The rear line, as you've just seen, comes forward and I've got it through the centre of the same cleat. This is the port side of the boom and has the control lines for the second reef. That rear reefing line is fed forward and again goes through the centre of a cleat in the middle of the boom. The forward line for the second reef comes down and I've left it loose at the gooseneck. It's easy to reach from the cockpit and it does mean that uh, when the second reef is in there's just far less line to manage on the boom. The main sail has two halyards. The peak halyard, here with the blue fleck on the right, is attached to the middle of the gaff. It controls the angle of the gaff to the mast. The other is the throat halyard and this hoists the gaff up and down the mast. To put the first reef in, we first loosen off the peak halyard a little bit. We then drop the gaff and the sail with the throat handle until the first reefing point is at the level of the boom. We can then tighten up the forward and aft reefing lines. And once the throat and peak halyards are tightened back up, the mainsail then looks like this, with the first reefing cringles now forming a new tack and a new clue, and controlling the bottom edge of the sail at each end of the boom. Putting the second reef in is basically the same. First loosen the peak halyard a little,
Then drop the throat halyard until the second reefing point is at a boom level or just below it. You can then reach forward and take the forward reefing line, bringing, bringing it in tight and here putting it into the jamming cleat on the boom and then tidying up the tail on the cleat. The rear reefing line can then be tightened up. There's no clam cleat here, but the line is secured on its own cleat in the middle of the boom. The main sail with both reefs in looks like this. Sail area is greatly reduced, and you can see the gaff is uh, a considerable way down the mast. The loose folds of the sail can be tidied up using the reefing ties, but to be honest, I never really bother. Here we have both reefs in and together with a full jib. It's gusting up to 20 knots, and the boat's quite manageable. Taking out, shaking out the reefs is basically just reversing the whole process. Here I'm taking out the second reef as we sail along close hauled. Now the mainsail always folds away really neatly when you've had two reefs in. I think it's time to go home. Once again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Goodbye.